Hey everyone, this is Jen over at jenscrappypages.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to create this really cute square card that I made using the detailed dragonfly thinlets dies. That's quite the mouthful. And the falling in love designer series paper. I absolutely love the way this card turned out. In fact, I made another one exactly like it. I liked it so much. I just love how soft these colors are. Um, and the Falling in Love paper pack, to be honest with you, I wasn't a huge fan of it just from looking at it in the catalog. But oh my goodness, when I got it home and got it in my hands, I just couldn't get enough of it. So um, this is the card we're making. This is the sentiment we're going to use. But that's the card we're making. So let's get on to it. What you're going to need is a tip top taupe for ink and I'm using the Blushing Bride um, enamel from the Subtles enamel shapes and this very vanilla ribbon. It's on the same page as the uh, Falling in Love Designer Series paper. The stamp set that I used for the sayings is the Love You Lots Hostess set. The detailed dragonfly thinlets, and we're going to be using these two from it. And then we're going to be using the layering circles framelits. We're going to be using the largest scallop circle. And then for paper, you're going to need a four and a quarter by eight and a half tip top taupe a 3x4 approximately for your dragonfly, a 4x4 four four blushing bride, a 3 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter for the scallop circle, a 3 and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters falling in love designer series paper, and 3x4 approximately for the under part of the dragonfly. So let's set that aside here and I'm going to grab out my big shot. We're going to get our cutting done first. So we're going to need, so I'm not sure if I can fit all these on the same plate. I think I can. So we're just going to go for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where's that? Maybe. room. That one's a little iffy, but it should work. At least with the magnetic plate, it'll hold on. Now I'm going to run these through twice because of the detail on that dragonfly. Ooh, that's a little workout. Now, because this dragonfly is so very detailed, I already have one cut out just to save time. So whoa, there you go. Already done. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this dragonfly and using my favorite go to we're just going to use this uh, clear wink of Stella and we're going to color over very quickly the entire dragonfly. So you'll just go over it like that and when you're done it is going to look like that. All nice and shiny and sparkly. So now what we're going to do is you're going to attach your dragonfly and you can use, um, you know, the, the snail adhesive, but I just kind of use this fine point glue just to get them stuck down. 
I'm going to put them just directly over that bottom one. And I just adhered that middle part because I want the wings to come up on him for a little bit more dimension when you uh, put them on the card. And then I'm just going to put some dimensional elements on the back of him like that. And then before we start adhering all of this, because we're almost done actually, normally, um, well, back in the day I used to distress every single piece of paper that I did. And I've moved away from that. I've gone to a more clean look instead of the distressed. But I really felt like these needed something on the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and edge these in the tip top tote just with a sponge. And I will fast forward through it so I don't bore you. Um, but so let me get to that. It does go a lot faster when you don't distress. But so I'm just going to get my sponge here pretty inky and it won't take too long to do that. I'm going to fold this in half and just use my bone folder to get that crease. Well, that didn't take too long. So I'm going to set this up here for now and then we're going to put the designer series paper on here. <clears throat> okay. Then I'm going to put the circle on and center it. And now I'm going to go ahead and stamp on my sentiment because it's actually easier if you, I'm going to make sure I'm, oh there it was, I almost put it on backwards. The other two cards I waited until I was almost done with it and then stamped it on here. So I'm just going to kind of put it down here towards the bottom. and grab some ribbon. And I'm just going to kind of put that right up above where the sentiment is. All right. Wrap that around. Then I'm going to attach it to my card base, just like that. Make sure that's straight, because it feels a little off to me, but I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Now I'm going to take, and I'm going to attempt, get that out of the way, attempt to make a bow. I always start with a bow that's 10 times larger than what it needs to be and then kind of just work it down to where it gets to be about the right size that I feel should be for the project. Kind of finagle it down. 
I think that looks good. I can never figure out how to cut these once I get the other. <laughs> okay. Yay, that looks really good. And then we're going to take our dimensional elements off. Well, the paper off. Remember those things that get everywhere? And then we're just going to kind of place him and kind of have his tail coming down and over the ribbon. Like so. And then... I'm just going to kind of bring his wings up just a little bit and they just curl kind of nicely. So, And then last but not least, we are going to put on some of these enamel shapes. And I just did um, three down here and I kept it the same color because I didn't want them to be too you know, obnoxious. I just want a little bit of, um, trying to remember where I put that. I guess it doesn't matter. We can go ahead and put that on there. And then just want a couple up here. you know, never wants to work. <laughs> All right, that was it. Kind of fairly simple, don't you think? I think it turned out really pretty. What do you think? All right, if you would like to, you can head over to my blog at jenscrappypages.blogspot.com and leave a comment and I will draw for someone to um, be sent. How about I send both of these to you? You get one in blue and one in pink. All right. Thank you so much, so much for watching. And I will catch you later with a new video. Bye.